Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to install CPU-Z to your PC. This is a very nice tool which helps to check and monitor your CPU performance and other stuff which are linked to it. First of all, go to your favorite browser and type install CPU information software. This is a Google Chrome, so this acts almost like a search engine for Google. Click enter. You're going to see CPU-Z the software, the very first link. Click on it or in the browser you can directly type www.cpuid.com slash software slash cpu-z.html. The link will be given in the description below. You can use it directly. Once you are landed to this page, you can see the executable is in these formats. You can directly download the 32 or 64 bit version for the English or in a zipped version or other two language like Chinese. Clicking on English. Click on download now. You should see CPU-Z1.7.2.1-en.exe. It is a 1.5 MB. Quickly download it. Click on this arrow. Open. For a smoother installation, I'm just minimizing the other windows. Click run. Click yes. You'll be landing to this wizard. Click next. Agree the acceptment. Click next. Choose the location where you want to store this. Click next. Next. If you want to see a desktop icon, leave it as is or you can uncheck that. Click next. And final installation after verifying the information. If you want to see the readme, click finish. This provides more information like command line arguments and different options that you can use the CPU Z for enhancing your reports. I'm going to close and try to open that there should be an icon created in the desktop double click give permission to run in few seconds it's going to verify the processes and other stuff the detection process is done and here comes the main view the cpu tab cache main board memory and other stuff are there you can explore more i'll be going pretty quick in this video for example in the cpu you can see the name code name number of processes cache details threads and other stuff go to the cache in depth about the cache n1 l2 l3 and the main board it comes to the motherboard details memory section you'll see how many uh, memory slots its channel ddr3 and other stuff total is 16 gigabytes for spd it's for the memory slot how many are there there are four for the graphics card I've been chosen NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 from the Zodak International. So that information is provided over here. In the about section you can see CPU ID with the version 1.7.2.1 and the build time. This way we can see the whole CPU ID has been provided some information. For further things you can click on tools and you can save it as a text or HTML format. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching. This is Kiran signing off. Have a good day. Hope you can explore more and put your better things in the comment section below.